How you doing everybody? Tuesday morning, after a long weekend, after Canada Day. Hopefully everybody had some fun. Hopefully everybody stayed safe. Maybe even worked hard, played hard. Uh, what we got this morning is we're here to do a little septic replacement. So this is what she looks like before. We have our old septic tank. This septic tank will be staying. It's been recently replaced. And then we have where our new bed is going to be going in this area here kind of down through that side slope we're going to be clearing a little bit of this treed area and flatten off the area though we got cody in the shovel cody's second job in the shovel this year um he's coming along really nice I have to say i'm really impressed with him so let's uh get some stuff for you guys today let's get this going We'll show you guys the entire process. I'll show you what I do to figure out elevations and grades. And uh, let's dig a hole, get some work done. So one of the major things, uh, all the septics that we do, well, pretty much all the septics that we do, have all been engineered by an outside engineering company. So the grades, the elevations are all set and determined by them doing test holes and some pre-site evaluation and that kind of thing. So basically when I get here, I'm just following directions and uh, one of the major things before we start digging the bed is especially when we have a septic tank that isn't being removed is to verify that I have enough elevation for the new bed to work. So we're going to be exposing the existing outlet pipe to the tank so I can take some shots on that and verify that everything will work in my bed area according to this elevation. Super important that you do that first. That way you don't get everything in and you find out you're too high and things don't flow uphill very well. So that's what we're doing right now. Guys, everybody, I'm gonna stop saying guys. I know we're probably mostly guys, but whatever. Let's get some girls watching too. So everybody, hey everybody. We got our pipe right here. As you can see, it's going downhill fairly sharply. Sharply. Yep, it's a word. Probably due from not packing around the pipes initially or may have to do with the elevation of the old septic bed uh, I don't know regardless I have an elevation I can take a shot off of and figure out whether my new elevations in my bed area will work so right now Cody's gonna do a little clearing we're gonna take this tree and two trees from over here so that when we dig our area we can build this area up and make it more of a flat workable area so he's gonna do that right now I'm going to take some shots. A couple of you have been asking how I figure out elevations and benchmarks and stuff. So let me show you the process on that. So I get a plan. Like I said, it's been engineered by an engineering company. And they have temporary benchmarks and elevations that I'm supposed to dig to on the plan. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my laser. I'm going to shoot. The benchmark, which in this case is the door sill on this far left-hand side of the house. The mosquitoes are terrible. I have to put some bug spray on. And then I'll go off of that benchmark to figure out all my elevations in my bed area. So let's get that done. That way Cody knows where he's going. Okay, so now that I have that elevation, which is my temporary benchmark, and take that number straight here so I got a seven one two three four seventy four centimeters off the bottom you know my Ken White construction pen and in this case it says my temporary benchmark is 100.00 meters so I'm going to take my 100.00 meters 
and I'm gonna add it to my instrument height, which is 74 cents centimeters. Gives me a new benchmark of 100.74. That's the benchmark of my instrument height. Then I can go back here, find out what my elevation is in my bed area, and I'm digging a 97.15. Pull out a calculator. I take my new benchmark, which is 100.74, and I minus the elevation they want me to dig to, 97.15. So I'm digging down to 359 on my stick. So the underside of my bed, 359 and I can work my way up from there and it all works the exact same way so to find out my pipe elevation I can take my stone subtract six inches because the pipe is six inches higher which will put me at 9820 so I can take my new benchmark 100.74 minus 98.2 254 now I can take that 254 and verify it on my outlet to make sure I have enough fall to go from my existing tank to my new bed via gravity. Okay, so I have 237 on my stick. 237 was the top of this pipe. 254 is the bottom of that pipe. So, four inch pipe is about 10 centimeters. If I go to 248, that's the bottom of my pipe coming out of my tank. And I have 254 as the bottom of my pipe going into my bed, which leaves me with six centimeters worth of fall. From here to the inside of my bed area. So I have six centimeters worth of fall. From here to the midpoint of my new bed, which is somewhere around here. And if you walk that off, one, two, three, four, five, five meters, six centimeters, I have a little bit over 1% fall, which is fine. That's enough for any pipe coming out of the backside of a tank where it should just be liquids, no solids going through there anymore. So that's how I figure out elevations. Now that I have my numbers, I can tell Cody how deep to dig. Let's get this thing done. Everybody, it's gonna take me some time to catch on to that. Uh, I'm gonna get this area dug out and hopefully get it built back up with the sand that we need. Ready to lay stone and lay pipe tomorrow. Hopefully get inspection tomorrow and get a good jump start on getting this thing wrapped up tomorrow. That's the plan. If everything goes smooth, the weather's cooperating with us, should go good. This Cody's digging. The elevations that I found out earlier, I'll be using on my stick to get my sub base. And we're just gonna dig everything flat on that level.
all you people out there wondering, how does Corey stay in such good shape? It's getting in and out of holes like this all day, every single day. That's what does it. So I'm letting Cody uh, figure out how he's going to dig this on his own. I'm kind of done the explaining and suggesting part. At this point, he's got to learn trial by fire, throw him into it. If he gets himself into a spot, he's got to learn how to get himself out and how to prevent getting in those spots in the future. So to do that, I'm leaving him to his own devices on this one. Let's see how he does. I'm sure he's gonna do great. All right, you guys, we almost got the bed entirely excavated. It's only about quarter after nine in the morning. Cody's doing great. This is where we're at. So he's on grade up to about there. You can see where it starts sloping up. And once that's dug out, we're gonna get some sand as soon as I got a dump truck available. I got our guys spread all over town today. Busy week, every week's a busy week and the weather's starting to be in our favor, so that's good. So we'll get this dug out. We're gonna stop for a little bit of coffee and then uh, we'll start putting this thing back together. It's going great. Look at that shovel. Woo. So we got the rest of our bed dug out, you guys. Didn't take us long at all, a couple hours. This is what she looks like, sub base. Fairly nice material down in here for a septic. A little bit of a pit runny type stuff, which will be good for percolation. The type of bed that we're putting in here is called the filter media bed. It's the uh, type of sand that it is. And again, it's all designed by an engineering company we're just following directions on that, uh, but it's pretty standard stuff, especially for me. I've been around for doing this for 15 years here. So, so what we're going to do is we're going to get a load of septic sand. If, uh, if you haven't seen our previous videos, have a look at those. I've explained a little bit what septic sand is. And we're going to put six inches of septic sand over the entire area and then 75 centimeters of filter media sand in the entire area. And then we're going to use a clear stone septic stone washed uh, on the top six inches of that then a grid of perforated pipe and we'll get you the whole process on that the morning is going great i put a call into taylor he's hard at work in the office and i said taylor cody's a madman on the shovel we already got our bed dug out i don't have a dump truck until later on this afternoon can you dump, jump in the Volvo and get us a load of septic sand? He said to keep the job moving, no problem. So he'll be heading out with a first load of septic sand. I should only need one load for the base. And then we'll start hauling in our filter media sand, keep this job moving. Cody right now, building a bit of a roadway in for him. He's gonna access the bed area up and down this stretch. So we may pull these two trees, give him a little more room to turn and work and he'll be able to cast and move his sand around everything from this top edge here. And we'll get this thing built, put back together. Coffee's here, you guys. Coffee, coffee time. Tuesday morning after a long weekend, you need that coffee. We'll get back to this as soon as we get some fuel into us. We'll carry on. Woo!
estar en la cima no es normal La gente me odia porque soy original Tanto falso que hay en esta humanidad Yo los entiendo y sé por qué así están Es que soy muy me están hay que no tiene Stands here, guys. Keep this job going forward. Woo! Are we boys? That's a no, 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 no. Go high, go low, low, low. Like spinning in a six, four, four. Cash money like five, four, four. Ball like AD, two, four. No sleep, me, mo, mo, mo. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drip, yeah, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drip, yeah, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Okay, everybody. Aha, got the everybody on that one. So we have our six inches worth of septic sand in, which is this sand here. That's your septic sand. This up here, filter media sand, a little more granular. Kind of like the Elgin sand in a previous video. It just has a different filtration, different perk rate, that kind of stuff. So we put in 75 centimeters filter media sand over the entire area we have more coming Cody's just getting it on grade we'll fill this whole block in with filter media sand up to grade and then stone and then pipe so this thing is going great it is hot out today stay cool stay hydrated we always got full case of the water in the truck ready to go let's do this working outside no we've been waiting for summer waiting for summer waiting for summer. it is hot today I'm not complaining but when you were sweating doing some raking and some shoveling and you got this right beside you oh I tell you not much hold me back from just taking the plunge taking the plunge the way we gotta do it so we have our old septic bed right here you see it Bubbling out of the ground right there. Old septic beds, we do not come here to fix beds that are working. This one has failed, is completely saturated, not taking any more water. And it just so happens to be in the way of my loaded dump trucks coming in with my sand. So Cody's been having to come out periodically fixing it up so that we don't sink the dump trucks up to their hubcaps. You do, do what you gotta do to get the job done. We always do, we always will.
How is it in there, Cody? Nice and cool? Nice and cool. Yeah, the AC works pretty good oh, in there. Yeah. AC works pretty good outside too, yeah, buddy. Nice yeah. In there, eh? I'm gonna jump in the pool. You think the homeowners will mind if they see me in my underwear? Go quick. Just go quick? Go Having a good time at work. You gotta have a good time. You're gonna be here 50 hours a week. You might as well have fun doing it, right? Dump truck driver switch. Try axle on site now. Hi, staff. That's real soft right there. Old septic. We go. Yeah. Just be prepared to put your diffs on. Everybody. Pretty much got our sand to grade. All this stuff around the edge doesn't matter for my stone. The stone's coming up the foot. And then we'll that's backfilling type of thing. Now it is Cody's second job site this year. He is new in the shovel for us this year. He's uh learning, trying to whip him into shape. Let me know in the comments what you think about how Cody's doing after only two jobs this year. I think he's doing pretty well. I think we're, uh, we're pretty hard on him, so <laughs> we'll whip him into shape pretty good. Hey guys, normally we would pull the stone out of the back of the truck with the shovel. Uh, I didn't do that on this one because this should be more than enough stone to complete the bed off and we're not going to be actually laying pipe until tomorrow. So for the sake of not keeping it in the truck overnight and doing multiple trips, I just dumped it here and we'll clean up what we don't use. So let's get this stone in on grade and that will wrap up day one. Tomorrow we'll be laying pipe, getting inspection and hitting the backfill up. No problem. Let's do this. Alright everyone, 
stone is in and graded. That's what she looks like. Ready to lay our three inch perf on that. So we are pretty much wrapped up for day one. Uh, we're gonna head back to the yard, see the other guys, load up what pipe we need for the morning, get this thing installed, laid and hooked up by tomorrow, inspected, backfilled, hopefully cleaned up and we're done. So it was a great day, hot day, warm day. Stayed hydrated, stayed cool. We'll catch you tomorrow. Okay, so the guys actually just dropped off the GoPro to me right now. Sorry if it's loud. I got the AC unit in the corner working right now. It's currently 35 degrees outside. I'm sure Corey talked about it. I haven't uh, looked through any of the footage yet, but what I wanted to do is I'm gonna end the video here because I want you guys to subscribe and get ready for the final video, which will be out tomorrow and check that out because I'm gonna compile this into two different parts. So what you need to do is hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up button, show some love, show some support. Make sure you're staying tuned and then I'll catch you guys on Thursday with the finished end part to this video. Awesome job, Corey. Catch you guys later. Oh, and Cody. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drip, yeah, I'm fitted up. And no, I didn't forget about you guys, the true patrons of the channel that are currently still watching the video to the very end, which is right now. I need you guys to comment down below, hot mess, because honestly, Corey just came into the office to give me the camera and he was sweating head to toe. He looked like a hot mess and he worked hard and he deserved it. So guys, comment down below, hot mess, if you watched the entire video. Other than that, I'll see you tomorrow with the final part. Thanks. New car, racing, fast lane. With the boo y'all, that's a flex. Now I'm human, I ain't from another planet. I'ma teleport, might vanish. I'ma wake up, do damage. Join number seven, these bored though. Working all night, need more though. I remember nights, I was poor though. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up.